millions of Americans. Lawmakers on Capitol Hill anxiously watching the latest battle over Obamacare. This is a critical day for the future of health care in America. Inside this New Orleans federal courthouse, three judges considering the health care future of millions of Americans. Democrats fighting for the Affordable Care Act, arguing millions of Americans would lose pre-existing condition coverage and Medicaid coverage, and seniors would pay more for prescription drugs. Blue states on defense as 18 Republican-led states and the Trump Justice Department ask that the Affordable Care Act be struck down. The Attorney General for Texas saying today it's time to bury Obamacare once and for all and deliver real health care reform. But Republicans and the president who ran on replacing Obamacare have yet to put forward a plan of their own. We are going to fix health care. Republicans tried several times but failed to repeal and replace. One Senate bill famously defeated with a thumbs down vote by the late Senator John McCain. And this is an attempt by the Trump administration and the Republican attorneys general to try to get what they couldn't get done in Congress. Some say the Republican effort to end Obamacare could backfire. Health care really resonates and the Democratic candidates are all focused on improving coverage and improving affordability. The Supreme Court upheld Obamacare twice and it could end up there again, putting health care on the front lines of the 2020 election. The appeals court could take months to rule. Until then, the White House plans to enforce the provisions of Obamacare. In Washington, Susan McGinnis, NBC News.